Hi, my name is Barnaby and I make guitars in this small workshop in Tokyo. And today what I'm going to do is restore an old tool. It's a hand plane. It's made by Stanley. Uh, it's a Stanley Bailey made in England. And I would guess it was made sometime in the 1950s. Now the thing about this plane is it's old and it's rusty and it's, um, you know, got a bit of paint on it. But fundamentally the plane itself is sound. And these are some key things you should look for when you're buying old planes. The first is, check the mouth. If you've got chips here, don't buy it. But if the mouth is clean, that's a good sign. Also, look at the sole. If you can see deep scoring or pitting from rust, again, walk away. That's a bad sign. But this one, it's got light scratching, very, very light rust. It's all surface rust. Other things, is the sole basically flat? And this one is basically flat. Are the sides at 90 degrees to the sole? In this case, they are. Are there cracks or chips anywhere else on the plane? Basically, no. This type of plane is variously described as a jointer or a joiner plane. Long planes like this were used for smoothing large panels. They were used for um, doing the edges of two pieces of wood that are going to be joined together. With a plane like this, really what you need to do is simply restore it to usable condition. The bottom doesn't need to be mirror polished, it doesn't need to be absolutely perfectly flat to do its job well. Of course, the flatter you can get it, the better. But really, the key points are you need to preserve that 90 degree angle on the side, and as much as possible, anyway, have a flat sole. Now, the first job with a plane of this type is, um, well, people do it in different orders. Some people take all the parts off and they clean off the rust and then they restore it. I'm gonna do it in a different order. First, I'm going to true up the sole and sides. I'm going to do what's called lapping them. The reason I'm going to do that first is because it's a messy process. Your hands get very dirty, the plane gets very dirty, the whole thing. By lapping the plane first, I get a lot of that dirt out of the way. Then when I clean it, the plane will stay clean. Otherwise, if I clean off all the rust and other stuff, then I lap the plane, I'll have to clean all those parts again, which is annoying. Now it's time for the first stage of lapping. You should ideally be using as flat a surface as you can. What I've got is a sheet of MDF, um, a couple of fairly thick plates of glass on top of that. I've checked that it's perfectly level and then on that I've got some adhesive sandpaper. I'm actually starting with um, 3M adhesive sandpaper. This is 80 grit. Some people start with higher grits but um, I prefer to start just with an 80. You know, it minimizes my work later on. Now, the bottom of the plane is okay. So we just pass it over very quickly to see what we get. It's actually quite even all over, so that's going to be a fairly easy flattening job. You'll notice that the plane is entirely assembled. The handle's in, the frog's on, um, the blade's in place, all that stuff. The reason why the plane is assembled is that when you put the plane together, it creates slight, very subtle tensions on the sole. So if you flatten the sole without the parts in place, then when you put the parts on, suddenly the sole will move slightly out of true and all of your work will have been for nothing. So, when you're flattening a plane, make sure it's fully assembled. Okay, here we go. So I've gone through progressively finer grits of sandpaper, we're at about 400 now, and you can see the sole of the plane 
it's still not perfect there's still a bit of marking there but basically it's looking pretty shiny now it is also dead flat now one little technique you can use to test for flatness is simply to mark the bottom of the plane and then just give it a bit of a sand so only a tiny little bit of marker remaining here and it's come off evenly all over the sole now with everything flat I'm going to go in and just clean things up a bit using Japanese water stones I start with a thousand grit and work that over the sole these stones have been just flattened the moments before doing this of course you don't want to do this with cut stones and then with that done you work the sides clean off and then you can switch to a finer grade of stone because I've got them I'll just take it up to 1200 may as well seeing the stones are right here so now we have a nice flat true sole with this in place what we can do is start to disassemble the plane now we've got all of these rusty little screws and um, washers and all sorts of things that need cleaning up so what I'm going to do is make a bath with citric acid to clean the rust off those this is some citric acid and if the parts go in here overnight the rust will basically go away but the body of the plane itself there's quite a lot of rust um, in the bed so what I'm going to do is clean it up using this rotary tool with a brass um, brush wheel using this it's fairly easy to get back to raw metal you can see that now now I'm sanding any exposed areas such as the edges of the plane because I'm going to touch this up with lacquer if I were wanting to restore this plane so it looked absolutely brand new I'd strip the entire plane down and then repaint but that's not what I want to do I simply want to restore this to usable condition there are a few places where you can't just sand for example here if you sand here and you round off these edges you'll lose the tightness of the fit of the frog and that will mean that the plane will transfer power less efficiently the blade will rock and you'll have all sorts of problems same here with your edge so when you do these areas you need something hard which can act as a sanding block and then you sand very very carefully so once I've cleaned all the dust off the plane it's time to come in and add some paint and on goes our glorious lacquer the main purpose of this paint is really to stop rust spreading in these areas again now we've cleaned it off of course the fact that it'll make the plane look nice at the same time is a bit of a bonus now with the plane body lacquered and the parts safely soaking in citric acid try saying that three times when you're drunk I can head on home and come back tomorrow Thank you.